Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. Today we're making a cocktail called The Ramble, and it was created by Phil Ward in 2008 at Death & Co. And this comes directly out of this cocktail book called Death & Company that one of my daughters bought for me. So if you happen to take a look at it, on page 160, you'll see the ingredients here, and this list is very similar to Dick Bradsell's The Bramble. Now, the difference is there, Dick Bradsell used creme de mure to top his cocktail versus the combination of simple syrup and raspberry that Phil used to top this. So let's get into making one of these and see exactly how this works. Now this is a shaken cocktail and Phil Ward broke this cocktail down into two separate parts. So the first thing we're going to do here is grab the slurry type or make the slurry type. We're not grabbing it, we're actually making it and I'm, now I'm rambling. However, the raspberry slurry that he talks about, he uses three good sized raspberries. Now if your raspberries are smaller, you know what? Use what you got, you can just use a couple more and you just toss them into your glass like so. Perfect. Now, what you want to do is you want to grab your simple syrup. Now, this is a one-to-one -one simple syrup, real simple, very easy. However, in the recipe, he talks about taking some of that and separating it off to make this slurry. So the total amount for, of simple syrup for the cocktail is one and a quarter ounces, which is 37 and a half milliliters. But what we're going to do is take half an ounce or 15 milliliters, and we're going to pour it directly on top of the raspberries like so. Yeah, look at that. Now, grab your muddle, and what you want to do is you just want to muddle this gently, but you want to do it thoroughly, because you don't want big chunks of raspberry, but you want to really, really get all the juices out and everything, all the pulp, really, really nicely mixed together. Now, having said that, of course, the reason we're doing this now rather than at the end of the drink is that will allow the sugar to pull more of that raspberry flavor out and it'll give us a nicer slurry when it's all said and done. However, grab your shaking glass now and what we're going to do is we're going to move into the rest of the cocktail. Now I'm using a uh, Beefeater London Dry Gin. This will give you some really nice juniper notes and it's fantastic. And we're going to use two ounces or 60 milliliters. Oh yeah. Now, this is a perfect gin for this. Use whatever you want. If you want something a little bit more floral, that'll work too. Just make sure it's something that works with raspberries and lemon juice. So move your glass over here, and what we're gonna do is grab one of our lemons, and what we'll do is we will cut this in half, maybe. Let's try this again. Cut this in half, or we'll squeeze out one ounce or 30 milliliters. Perfect. Now, what we are going to do is add the remaining simple syrup. And for this, we're gonna use three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. Now that we've done that, the recipe calls to be shaken with exactly three cubes of ice. Now, Phil doesn't say exactly what size the, size of the cubes are, but we'll go with the standard one by one cube, and that should do everything that we need it to do. So, put your lid on top, give it a flip, and shake it with a smile. Yeah, pop that off with the strength of a thousand raspberries. Have a heart attack because I've been shaking so hard. And what we're going to do now is we are going to grab a tall highball glass. And that's what the recipe calls for. And what we're going to do is fill this with crushed ice. So just fill it up to your heart's content, but don't fill it up all the way because we want to leave enough room for uh, to put all our liquids in, we can always add a little bit more at the end, right? So, we don't even need to fine strain this, so we'll just pour it in like so. Oh, fantastic, looks great. Now the next thing we are going to do is grab your spoon and grab your raspberry slurry and we're just gonna pour it on top like so. Oh, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. You give it a bit of a smell. You really don't get much off it, but you do get those hints of lemon and raspberry. So let's throw a uh, straw in here and give it a try. Mmm. Oh, the gin is there. The lemon is there. You get that raspberry 
And you know what? It's going to continue to bleed and it's going to blend those flavors and that level of sweetness as you get to the bottom. What I will do, I'll put the ingredients and a method of how to make this down in the description of the cocktail. And you know what? I'll even put a link down to get this book if you'd like to get yourself a copy. And if it is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a fantastic afternoon.